All this month, get any smartphone 32 gig and under for 50% off regular price at Appalachian Wireless. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While supplies last, two-year agreement required. February 1st is recognized in the sports world as National Signing Day. It's the first day in which student athletes on the high school level can formally make a written commitment to the college of their choice and receive a scholarship to continue their athletic careers while furthering their education. As we go around the region to local schools to check out these student athletes sign the dotted line, we head to Belfry first where five athletes are rewarded for their efforts helping lead the Pirates to four consecutive state championships. It's just a dream come true for me. It's something I've always wanted to do. You know, growing up here in Belfry, it's, you, leave, you live, eat, and breathe football around here. So knowing I'm going to play college football and carry on the legacy that we've brought here just means everything to me in the world. I really feel like Belfry is kind of like a college prep school, really, because I feel like all the stuff I've learned here is just going to help me have a smooth transition into college, and it's going to make it easier than a lot of people that didn't play at a school like Belfry. But I'm in Richmond. I feel like I'm at home, and I think it's – it's the best place for me and where I can be successful at. Crazy, it's an unbelievable feeling because not too many people, I think it's like 3% of all high school athletes get to go get a full scholarship to play Division One football and I think even less is to play Division One football, but it's really a blessing to be in this position. It's a great feeling, honestly, And uh, but the thing about winning four state championships in high school is when you get to college, you got to start over. Those state championships don't mean anything. So you might as well, you might as well not have any rings, really, because you got to earn them back. I strive to be the one of the first ones, you know, in the weight room and for, one of the first ones, one of the last ones out. And I really want to, you know, prove what I'm about at the college level. I think every college program wants to win, and what does having a winning background that can help carry that winning success over to EKU. It's not about me, and you know, like Coach says, it's not about us. It's it's just about leadership and carrying your work ethic throughout life, not only on the field, but in the classroom. Too. Growing up as a kid, this is one thing I wanted to do is take my, take my game to the next level and not only play in high school, but play in college. So it feels good knowing I got the chance to. Well, I hope to bring the championship mentality to Cumberland, and I know there's a, some other commits that were state champions, so that's our main goal is to go in with the championship mentality, work hard, and hopefully bring the winning mindset to the team. Turning our attention to Kent Phelps at Paintsville High School, a kid who made his decision prior to the 2016 football season and kept his promise as he signed with Wofford College today out of South Carolina. It's a great feeling. I mean, ever since I was in about second or third grade, that's what I wanted to do. And it's just awesome being able to achieve my goal and be able to play. I fell in love with Wofford when I first went down there. The the campus is beautiful, the academics are top notch, and the coaches are great, and they always have been to me. I think I'm going to be able to bring a lot to them. I mean, people overlook Eastern Kentucky quite a bit at the next level, and I just feel like we're just as good around here than everybody else is in the whole state or nation. And I just feel like I'm going to be able to go down there and contribute quite a bit. Clay Sloan decided he would suit up with the Tigers next season as he plans on heading to Georgetown in the fall to join his fellow teammates who helped lead the Panthers to their first football championship in over 20 years back in 2015. Friday Night Wides is something that you remember forever and it's kind of disappointing it came to an end but I'm excited about uh, what lies ahead. You know, I'm a proven winner, you know, we brought a state championship here just as guys. We, we like to compete, we like to win, so I, I think I would like to bring it every day try and win some games. Head coach Al Holland Jr. and his coaching staff at U-Pike brought in a talented class of 41 student athletes to the Hoop facility today as each signed their letter of intent to join the Bears. U-Pike is coming off their best season in quite some time after they defeated Georgetown in the final game of the season to win their share of the Mid-South Conference East Championship. But as this time changes and as you sign your letter of intent, this is a decision you made for the next four to five years. There's going to be highs, there's going to be lows. But we're going to stick together through thick and thin. We've now turned the corner to win the conference championship. The day in and day out, you've got to put the work in. This is a great opportunity for me. Uh, as many people know, uh, m my mother, my father, they didn't go to college. Uh, I'm first generation. It's something special for me to, to come up here and do something for myself and make a future for myself. It's a privilege to play at home. 
That's something I've always looked forward to and something I've always wanted to do. I'm just a hard worker. I lay it all on the line. I try my best at everything, and that's all I can ask for. Very excited about that. Uh, I've always grown up watching U Pike football around here, and I've always loved it, and just very excited to be at home and doing what I love. That was a big part of my decision, uh, being close to home. Um, I feel like it's a whole nother level, but I feel like I'm ready for it. I feel like uh, I can bring all I got, what I have, what I had at Johnson Central and plus more. Keep putting in work and get to be where I want to be at. So I'm very excited. I'm excited because I'm coming into a program that just came off the uh, Mid-South Conference co-champion. I think they're really doing something exciting here. I'm just glad to be home and be to where I don't even have to go far away from my own house and play for somebody that's going to be as prestigious as we could be. Um, I'm excited. Just see what happens next. I mean, the next chapter. This is my last season was my first season ever playing corner. So I had I learned a lot, and I'm like a sponge right now. I'm just ready to come and absorb everything I can. Just nervous about you know just going to college and being away from home, but I'm excited to get here and play at the next level. For a full list of athletes around our region signing the dotted line today, check out our website at ekbsports.com. Reporting for EKB Sports, I'm Michaela Colley.